We're back out at the Air Force Base. A little windy. You see Mike over there waving, holding his shovel up. Here's Charlie. Charlie got a fine. We're going to record in a second. If you look over there, that's my buddy from WV Metal Detecting. That's Todd. He's waving. I'll put his link in the description. Charlie, what do you got, man? I've got a U.S. button. U.S. button. Right oh, there. yeah. That's a U.S. collar disc. Yep. Yep. That's exactly what you have. A little old and crusty, but uh, hey, man, I believe that's what it is. The back side's probably where the iron is. I think yeah. the front is probably gonna be brass. It's definitely what you have, though. Great start, man. It, You're welcome. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Mike is up there somewhere going down the sidewalk. Todd's still over there digging. He's got uh, two nickels and a weed. I've got two weeks off this bank to the right. But Charlie has got something else, and I, I found a lot of cap guns and stuff, and Charlie has too. But I think he's got a little 22 pistol here. It's heavy. It's stamped on the side. I think that's the real deal, Charlie. I think it's the real deal too. We'll clean it up and get some numbers off of it. But, yep, that but is yeah, awesome, man. It's heavy. It's real heavy. I think that's the real deal, Pretty dude. Pretty neat. It is. Pretty neat. Charlie, you already found a murder weapon, man. You never know, man. <laughs> you never know. It got tossed over there for some reason, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, you never know. Cool. Good job, Charlie. Thanks, man. All right, so we're waiting on Charlie Brown to get here. I got Mike over here, and uh, we had to put some air in my truck tire. I might want to use some old crusty clad quarters, and uh, he accidentally pulled something out. He was going to prank me today, but Charlie don't know about it, so we're yep. still going to prank Charlie. What you got, Mike? You know I've been wanting to dig a silver thimble, and uh, he was going to prank me with that one, but now that I know about it, because he pulled it out on accident, he's going to prank Charlie with this gold-looking thimble here. Like I'm thinking he's got a gold thimble, so that's real. That's gonna be good, Mike. We'll do it. We're gonna do it. Hello. <laughs> what parking lot are y'all at? Charlie's lost. We are at <laughs> Lakelands Dental Arts. I'm in Great Street Dental. <laughs> are you on Durst Street? <laughs> Am I on what? Dur I'm on Gray Street. Gray Street. Where's that at? Tell him if he passes the one. Tell him if he passes the house. Where he found a barber quarter and it's on the right, come to the red light. We were out here in the parking lot where I parked that day. Uh, you hear that? <laughs> you, you in the wrong parking lot, Charlie. All right, come on. <laughs> uh, Charlie's lost. As always. All right, so Charlie's in the sidewalk already. Uh, or not in the sidewalk, he's on the sidewalk. This is the house. Charlie dug the barber dime or barber quarter and I dug the Indian. Um, Never hunted out. We're going back through this, me and Mike, just real quickly, and this just shows Mike just dug this. We don't know what this is, but it looks old. Hit like an Indian. So maybe if you clean it up, Mike, you can get some on it. I hope we can figure it out. Great job, man. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just showing Mike this key I just dug. Hit like a uh, nickel. Thought it was gonna be a nickel, but it's kind of neat. It's got a little bit of age to it. Not extremely old, but at least it's something to start with. Keep watching. Okay, just dug this. It's got a little palmetto tree there on it. It says Charleston, and then something south, Banks or something. So I'll get it cleaned up and get some pictures in there, but hey, Another little relic. I'm happy. Mike just walked over. Um, this here, it was masked a little bit. It, it was a high tone, but it didn't sound good. I could barely get it to sound off at all. And back from that corner to about eight inches, I've got a coin. Could be a wheat, could be a memorial, could be anything. Or a nickel. That's what I'm going with. Too big, too little. Hmm. What is that? It's gonna take some rubbing. It looks so like the mystery coin house. Yeah. Man. Let me see what it tells. Tell me what, tell me what the numbers are, Mike. Uh, That's gonna be an Indian. Is it? I guarantee. You. I'm gonna have to clean this up, guys. This thing is crusty, and I'll update you with what it is. But it's hitting like an Indian, and it looks like an Indian. So, um, I'll be back in a few.
Take a look at this house from the 20s. Lady's super nice. Told us we could detect. Got a few weeds, but I think Mike's already scored. No, Mike. No, you didn't. I don't know. What is that? That looks gold. That was. Dude, that is a gold thimble. Oh, man. Holy crap. Are you kidding me, Mike? Wow. That's got to be gold, dude. Right, Nothing comes out of the ground like that unless it's silver or gold. 24K. No, it's not. It is. Dude, 24 <laughs> karat gold thimble. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Oh man, that's amazing. And it matches the silver one in my pocket. Okay, you can see Charlie back there. Mike's on the other side of the trees. Some wheats. My phone is acting really funny, so I'm trying to make this quick. But I just got a surface silver dime signal and got this. Very ornate. It's got a little attachment on the back there. Don't know what it come off of. I'll clean it off. It could be sterling, though. It's got some wheat to it. I was sitting here. We've already had lunch. Tried a few other things, and it's been slow. In a video, when Mike first started trying his Equinox, he got a, a war nickel out there on surface, win that same field. Got a deep tone here, and uh, it was a little broken. But check that out, right there. Booyah! Stuff just soft. Thing's clean. It, it is, is clean. clean. Birdie too. It's gonna be a mercury dime, see if we can get a year. Looks like it may be out of the 30s, actually. All right, we'll keep watching. Good job, Johnny. Thanks. Good job, my Appreciate time. Appreciate it, your turn. <laughs> Okay, Charlie might just walked over. I got another signal here. This one sounded like it was uh, clad and it wasn't very deep, but I can see a silver edge. Well, I could, there it is. Down in here. Yep, there it is. I don't know what it is. Boy, it's caked up. Merc, ain't it? Yep, another merc. The sandy soil is really making these things come out clean. And it's kind of crudded on the back, but let's see if we can get a year. Yeah, I'm not gonna rub it too much. Hey, I'll take it. Good job again. Thanks, man. Good man. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> See Charlie working to the left. Mike walking out to the right. Just got a tacoed, looks like a 50 cent piece play money. That's pretty cool. Maybe be able to get it straightened out and get a date off of it. 